Welcome to the Estadio Benito Villa Marin, where the action will soon get underway. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Real Betis taking on Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's the starting eleven for Real Betis. Claudio Bravo stands between the posts. Andres Guardado plays with William Carvalho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Marco Asensio plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. And so the match is underway. Benzema. Tony Kroos. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Moving it forward. Perez. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Now, how about the short corner? Rondado. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Carvalho Juan me on the ball well he stopped them in their tracks Marco Asensio to feed it through well the flag was up in good time bringing that move to an end well he's just got to be more patient there he's gone too early A bad pass it was. Tony Kroos and Valverde. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Intense pressure. And Betty's having trouble keeping the ball. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Marco Asensio keeping it moving dynamically. 
does take the lead here. Wonderful block. And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Showing fine vision. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Racing away here. Courtois with the easy save. He has teammates around him. High quality defending. in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here and that attack going up a dead end and the keeper has the ball Rui Bal still trailing but they're upping the pressure I think I spoke too soon wasn't the best of passes finally well, those stats show us that Real Madrid haven't had that much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, possibilities in the centre. And out of play for what will be a Betis throw. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Benzema waiting. But it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. So almost at the break here. And not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far. But they haven't shown enough creativity. Particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Tony Kroos, Aurelien Chouameni. And with it, Joaquin. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. William Carvalho. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. And he's done it! Parity again! A magnificent game unfolding. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. With that, the first half action comes to an end here at the Estadio Benito Villamarín. Not on top of his game for once, Karim Benzema. I think it's fair to say that, Stuart. Well, I wouldn't say he's pulled up any trees today. He just hasn't affected the game. He's looked slightly off the pace, both with and without the ball.
So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Plenty of support here. Perez. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Karim Benzema. The referee has given the advantage to Real Madrid. Federico Valverde. Could be threatening. It has to be! And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. And now the delivery, and the problem not completely solved. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And a decent save, full credit. Let's see about the delivery. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Karim Benzema. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Trying to pick out a teammate, and the danger's still on. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Could be a chance to break here. Will they profit from this situation? Perez. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Juanmi, Perez, tremendously strong in the tackle. William Carvalho. Well, Real have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. And it's come off the keeper. It's still alive. Well, it could have been, but for the offside flag. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Getting through fantastic work here just to keep possession. Benzema and Valverde. Benzema could be well what an opportunity squandered far too easy for the keeper short corner favorite Vinicius Junior now Azar, perhaps an opportunity here for Real Madrid to take the lead. Corner. <laughs> Playing it short. And with that, the attack fizzles out.
Read it superbly to take back possession. He's got to score! Oh, good save. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Well, they fancy a short one. Guardado. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. It's a short corner. Felipe. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Over it comes. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Rondado, Joaquin, oh excellent diving stop, well this corner could be pivotal, it might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. Delivering it. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Still pushing for a winner. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, it's an unbelievable save by Courtois! Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. The corner played into the box. Oh, great play. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Vinicius Junior. Cross, it looks promising. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, here it is again, and they've taken their goal well, but the defending was non-existent. That should never happen. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Borja Iglesias. Andres Guardado. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card?
Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. And looking towards the back post. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.